and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings, and we're gonna do a Lotro guide. I'm your hosting guide, Zullen Iron Shield. All right, guys. So for today, we're going to talk about a little bit of an armor guide here. As we can see, we're at the forges here in Breland, making some armor right there. All right. So someone has requested. I had someone make a comment. They wanted me to make one on armor, and I was like, "That's a very good one." But now we have to ask ourselves. Where do we start with armor in Lord of the Rings Online? Well, first thing to know is the basics about the mechanics of the game. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just pop open my kidding C on my character here. Now, I don't have absolutely best endgame armor right now. I have stuff that's kind of all over the place because I haven't been doing a lot of endgame stuff recently. I've been doing working too hard on the Voice of the Rings channel. All right, anyway, so let's look at our armor here. So when I hover our armor pieces, we need to, there's a few things you need to know about, right? I mentioned this with our items video. If you want to check out that video about quality of items and stuff, I'm pretty sure that's in my guide play, uh, playlist here, I'll let your guide. Um, so we're going to look at here the different kinds of armor. So, for example, first thing you need to know about armor in the game is there are three types of armor. Light, medium, and heavy, right? Alright, so depending on your class, so most classes just start with the kind of armor they can wear. Um, characters like burglars that are more of an assassin kind of stealth class, they don't wear light armor, but they wear medium armor. Classes like guardians or captains or champions, they wear heavy armor. They're help tank up front tanky boys. Uh, Bjornings also wear heavy armor now. Um, light armor is usually worn by rune keepers, lore masters, minstrels. The more spellcasty that, you know, they have, you know, robes. They don't have heavy steel plate and all these different things and armor. So, anyway, the thing you need to know first is look at your character. Every character is going to have the same kind of slots, right? You're going to have a headpiece, whether it be a helmet, a hat, whatever. You'll have a shoulder piece. You'll have a back piece, which whether it be a backpack, cloak, you know, whatever you're using on your back. You'll have a chest piece, right? No matter what it is, it could be if you're a female character or whatever, you could have a dress. Or if you're maybe a lore master, you have a robe on. Um, you're a metal, as my character has right now. So, my, this is my generic... I'm using the cosmetic outfit system for armor in this game. There's cosmetic stuff. I believe I have talked about that in our character thing about cosmetics. So I'm actually using this armor set right here, right? But we're looking at the generic outlay, right? So in fact, I'm going to switch my armor to my generic stuff, all right? So that's what we're actually, that what I'm actually wearing right now is this, right? Doesn't look quite as cool as my normal armor, my <laughs> past, but that's okay. So then everyone has gloves. Everyone has um, uh, leggings of some sort, whether they be pants, you know, whatever you've got. Uh, boots, right? And on the other side, you have two earring slots. Now, these are not cosmetic. You cannot see these, right? Where when you put on armor pieces, and you can remove if you see those armor pieces, right? Like your cloak, or let's say your helmet, or your shoulder pads, right? That looks a little better anyway. Your gloves, right? They're still on, but you can make them hide them, right? But you can't hide your chest piece or your other stuff. You actually have to, as we all know, remove them, right? So we would have to remove the chest piece, and then it would be just the under right garment, right? All right, I'm going to put it back on, though. And then, so we each have two earrings. There is a necklace slot, or, you know, for, and then you have two brooches, which are basically like wrist things. And you have two rings, and you have a pocket item, which is... It's different for many characters, what you use. And then everyone has a spot for their legendary item. Uh, usually secondary item for, like, for guardians, it's a belt. For captains, it's an emblem. For rune keepers, it's a... Um, oh, it's a rune... Like, a, this rod thing. I forget the name of it, but you, you, you'll see it if you're the class, right? Uh, you have a spot for your crafting tool, right? I have a set of crafting tools, right? So it's one item, so I don't have to switch out my items, but it does all three things. It's called a tools of the armor instead of just one tool. And then, you know, you have a spot for your ranged weapon, right? And then you have a spot for either a secondary weapon, if you're dual wielding, or a shield, right? And then, um, and also if you are using an instrument, that would be you in your ranged weapon spot, right? So for example, I could put an instrument on right now, and it would take up my spot for my bow. But if you're a minstrel, you're going to have that on all the time. You wouldn't have a bow, you know, because that's already your range, right? Right? All right. Then you got your main weapon spot. Anyway, now we got to get into armor. I just want to make sure everyone's aware of how this works, because that's important for armor. So... Once you have your main armor, what what about armor levels, right? So here's the things you got to know, okay? So there's different color schemes, right? Here's the hard part. Color schemes only help you with the right level where you are, right? So let's do an example. Let's say you're level 100, 
right? The max level right now in the game is 130, but let's say you're level 100, right? So if you have an item on you that is this color, right? This like yellowish color, and it's on you, it's probably not that great if it's for level 100. Now, here's why it's a little confusing, right? To, to, you have to know this. So I'm gonna hover this item for a second longer, right? We're actually gonna do it with the helmet. This will make it more simple for you. So everyone can see it. So as you can see, it's for one, it's bound to me. This I talked about this in the items episode, but it's bound to you, right? The item level, don't worry about the item level, right? That's always gonna be really high depending how good it is in the game but it tells me what kind of armor it is, it's heavy. But the thing really matters is at the bottom where it says a minimum level 130, right? So the max level, so we're gonna hop it up. Instead of saying 100, let's say we're at level 130, right? Like I am right now. This is a purplish item, right, at 130. It's a, that's a decent item. Purple is usually pretty good, but usually with color schemes, the color schemes just help you, right? You still need to look at the stats and compare, right? Because sometimes you could get an item that's purple. Okay, so the levels usually go this color, right, that it's got that like greenish yellow tint to the back the back of the item, to the purplish color, to this light blue color, which is usually a very really nice item, right, to a background of the that's gold color, which is usually a really good item, right. Now again though, this fine math and it it shows it as very good for that particular item, but if you look at the minimum level on this item, you see how the minimum level says 120? It's an old item I'm using, right? So there is another item that might be like this purple one here that I could get to replace this and it would be way better as a purple because it was its minimum level is 130. If this does everyone follow what I'm saying with that? So I, that's important to know with armor you guys. So it does matter where you are on level. Those colors help you, but it matters what you're on level. Now, again, the other thing you're going to need to think about with your armor, right, is what class you're playing, what stats do you want, right? So, for one, if you're a heavy class, you want to wear heavy armor because there's no um, weaknesses to wearing it, right? So, some games you play, there's a weakness to having heavier armor than having lighter armor, right? But in this case, that does not apply in Lord of the Rings Online. That's just the mechanic doesn't work like that. So, if you can wear heavy armor, you wear heavy armor right? Unless you want it cosmetically, light armor looks more cosmetic for like going out to hang out with your friends in the game, right? But again, you're not going to be battling in that armor, right? You're going to be putting on your cosmetic outfits to just look cool, right? For example, like uh, this armor. See that armor I'm wearing underneath? That is just a cosmetic piece, and technically that'd probably be light armor normally, but it doesn't matter in this case, right? All right, so let's not lose our train of thought, I'm talking to myself, and let's focus on the next part of this. So, now that you know the color schemes, now you need to think about the next thing is the newer armor pieces have slots for essences. As you can see here with this cloak, I do not have essences in this. This is not good. You need to you should be using the essence slots, right? On your on your items here, on your armor. So um, now with the newer armor, there is something that you can get. You can break them down. See, if you see at the very bottom of this piece, for example, is one this minimum level 115. So technically, I could get a better cloak, right? I could get a cloak that's minimum level 130, and it would be a better cloak. But um, right now, I haven't been able to get one that's better than this one because I haven't done the work yet. But if you look at the bottom, it says worth, right? Seven, 80, um, 87 silver. That's actually not very accurate. It's saying that's what it's worth to sell to a vendor NPC, right? If you sold this on the, on my, if it wasn't bound to my account, because I've already put, put it on my character, if it wasn't bound to my account, which also means, by the way, if it's bound to your account, I could technically trade this with my other characters through shared storage, right? Because it's bound to account. It's not bound to Zolan, my, this character. So that's a good thing to know. Versus like this helmet. See how it says bound to Zolan at the top right under the name? That's in the gray? I could not trade this with my other characters. I could trade this with one of my other characters without, with te instead of getting rid of it. Good thing to know, guys. Good thing to know. So that's kind of cool. It binds to a count instead. Almost every armor when you equip it is going to bind to you if it's a high-level piece of armor. So you always should think about that. Do you want to bind it? Because if you get something in an instance that's not bound to you yet, you could sell it on the auction hall, right? So that's when it comes in, that thing at the bottom where I said worth 80, uh, 87 silver. That's when it matters. You might want to just save that item, even if, let's say, it's 20 levels under you. But you get an item in an instance that's this color, right? Blue or gold. You know what I mean? It's really good. Or maybe even a purple item that's just really good. And you know it's good because you've been playing the game a lot. You can go put it in an auction hall and maybe sell it for a little bit of gold. You know, sell it for 10 gold. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. And someone will probably buy it. That's the kind of stuff you need to know with the selling. And then, um, again, cloaks, your back piece, are always going to be light armor too. If you notice it says light armor there, 
on the third thing down below the main title of the item, right? So, for example, and then the shoulder pads are heavy. Cloaks will always be light armor. You can't get heavy armor for the back piece. Just if you're confused on that, I'd make that clear to everyone. So people aren't like, why can't I find a heavy back piece? It doesn't work like that. You, they're always a light armor. They're just a cloak or they're a backpack or they're something else, right? It's a back piece. It's not really supposed to be heavy armor. So now that you know that, and we're talking now that we're talking about our armor more, I, we, and then the same thing. So jewelry, again, now we just, we'll talk about stats real quick with armor and, and with jewelry. The reason I'm including the jewelry is because it's part of your armor set, right? It's part of your character. Jewelry also matters. Jewelry is made usually by someone who crafts it. Usually you find your best stuff in instances and raids and sometimes events, but there are high level crafting things. I'm going to open the crafting tab, for example, that will be really good still. So I'm a metalsmith, which means I create all heavy armor, right? That's just heavy. I'm also a tailor, which means I can create medium and light armor, but I am not a jeweler. You need to be a jeweler to create most of the jewelry, right? So that's a different class entirely but let's say i go to the top level here and i want to make something from the metalsmith guild all right so this is another thing when you get into the higher levels there's a metalsmith guild that you have to get respect for so basically you'll make weekly items and give them the item and then they when you build up that respect you're able to um buy new recipes that you can buy higher level recipes to make good armor but we're not gonna don't don't get confused on that we're talking about armor in this episode we could do that we could do a metal spill guild thing in another episode um so for example look at this i can make certain these are for certain classes that it sees it says a name so let's say i'm gonna make this gar guardians artist in greater silk steel breastplate right if i hover this thing look at how okay look at this thing guys look at this compared to the one i'm wearing see it's comparing it so whenever you hover an item in your inventory or in something else it'll show it and then it'll also say to the right equipped right what you have on on in your inventory it'll compare so if you look at the differences of these items right now like holy moly i'm gonna try to craft this because look at that the item i'm using right now is a level 120 item right with no essence slot so i can't add extra stats right so I have, it is 27,000 armor, the one I'm wearing. This one gives 163,000 armor. It's like, what is that? Eight times, six, seven, eight times better. Look at the stat difference, right? This one, my one I'm wearing gives 2,600 vitality. The one this gives is 4,135, right? Vitality. You can see in the green, right? It shows what it gives to your actual stats. Again, stats matter. Also guys, it does matter to think about what stats it gives you. So for example, certain cloaks might be good on me. For example, this cloak is good on me because it gives me might and vitality, which is something you need as a guardian. Again, if you want to look at my video on uh, characters and uh, the character panel, which is this panel, I talk about that, right, for you guys. And stats, I'd also talk about, it's in the, it's called the stat video. I don't want to go into stats too much. We're talking about armor, but that is combined with armor. So we have to talk about it a little bit. So anyway, so I could, if I got a cloak that gave me uh, the same amount of armor, right for my level but it gave me uh, you know 2000 fate and 2000 will that would not really necessarily be very good for me as a guardian that would be very good for someone who is a lore master or a minstrel or a rune keeper they they need fate and will that's their main stats or my main stats are more vitality and might and like hunters and burglars their main stats are more agility right they like agility maybe fate a little vitality so they survive those are their main stats Good things to know about armor, right? So there you go. You kind you kind of know. Here's another thing to know. See when I hover this to craft this. See how there's a slight. It's really small for you guys, I know. But there's a slight red line around it. That's just giving you a little at a glance that you can't wear this. This your particular character. I could craft this and then give it to someone. See how it says bind on equipped instead of the gray like my mine armor says bound to account. So mine is already bound to me. I can't trade it. But I could trade this one before if I didn't equip it, right? It wouldn't even let me equip this particular item. That's why there's a red line around it because it's designed for the class captain. If you look down at the bottom there in red or in the middle of the um, the words down there under minimum level 130, it says class in red, champion. So this is designed for a champion. I said captain. This is designed for a champion, right? So, and then below that, this piece of armor is also, there's another thing you need to know about armor. Some armors have sets, right? The armor I'm wearing on the right has no set, right? It has nothing on the bottom. But this one says greater armor of grim determination, max level 134 right so again 
So the reason it says max level 134, which is kind of weird in parentheses, I'm going to just take a wild guess at this one because I don't know completely. But my guess would be is when there's an expansion, when you hit one level, when you hit 135, this armor will literally go off your character into your inventory. You won't be able to wear it anymore. They've been doing that more with newer armor, which is kind of weird, but it's to kind of make it where you have to get newer armor, I think. I still think it's kind of a weird thing they started doing, but... I'm not sure why it used to be I think it has to do with um, the set bonuses there was a problem back in the day where people were using set bonuses of armor that was way below somehow and then switching their armor back mid combat so they could get those buffs during the fight so I mean I, I can understand that might be the reason for putting limits to ones that have sets so again what are sets If you look down there it says champions and it says all their names in that little tiny gray letters all those little gray letters and it's basically telling you all the pieces of armor which are these helmet shoulder you know cloak all these ones on the right here right so it's telling you when you get all those pieces together right it says if you have two different set items of these six items it'll give you plus 5,624 might and gray down there, right? And that would light up normally if you had two pieces equipped on your character. The next one is three different sets of items equipped. You get plus two block and one parry percent chance. That's really good. 2% block extra is a lot, right? It's, that's a lot. Um, four, uh, four different items equipped. Sudden defense reduces incoming damage by 10%. Okay, so that's really good. Now, a cool thing you could do here, since you only need four pieces to complete this, and two for an thing you could technically get a different set and wear two pieces from a different set and get the two bonus from that set and then wear only four pieces of this set to get the four bonus if you wanted to do that that is a possible thing to do or you could wear three and three right if you have another set that has and you want a three bonus and a two bonus from both there you go you could do that but really the fourth one's usually the best bonus so four different set items suddenly defense is reduced sudden defense reduces incoming damage by 10 percent right that's a champion's ability um that's really good it's much stronger so for example for guardians what would it give me i'd get a negative 30 negative 30 modifier cooldown on guardian judgment skill just negative 30 don't freak that seconds it's just talking about seconds i don't know why they put they don't put a little s or something but negative 30 means negative 30 seconds cooldown on your guardian's judgment which is awesome right that's one of our best defensive um abilities as a guardian and when we're in tank tree and it's very powerful right so with 30 seconds difference could be a matter of life and death for your team in a raid right against the belrog or whatever you're fighting okay well we've covered a whole lot in this video in a very short time i hope i'm not going too fast for you guys yes i can create certain essences as a as my guy see i could craft um a shade uh essence five tier five in fact i can craft one right now i have the materials i'm gonna craft one right now and i'm already near a forge right my crafting video if you want to know about crafting i have a crafting video but oh i actually this is really cool gear i'm wearing underneath my normal stuff it's actually pretty cool looking i gotta take it back all right so i just crafted it so let's look at this real quick right so i'm gonna right click this box and it's gonna give me a choice here's the cool thing when you craft things it gives you the choice to choose right so for me i want to fill one of these slots on my cloak right Again, you can remove the essences from your cloak when you break it down, so don't freak. So if I right-click this, I can actually... Um, oh, this is something good to know. This is a new thing. I need to tell you, are going to get confused if I say this. This item, Flame of the... Um, it's reusable. And Calamur... Eh, is that how I say it? I, I might have butchered that, but oh well. Unlike... Uh, it Basically, any items that are level 105 and above have a new thing where you can break, basically break them down. I'm not going to do it to my items, but if you hover the items again, look how it says Disenchant, which is using that item, into 100 Emblems of Enchantment, which later can be traded to get different armor pieces and different things. Let me just quickly show you where you buy this item, because you'll need this for armor later, right? So I believe you just go to... Uh, I think it's, it's the, the relic guy. Greetings, friend. I'm trying to remember here. I have an episode on le uh, legendary items. If, what I, can I if do you guys want to look at that. Um, I'm trying to remember How where you buy this? it. I, I think it might be a supplier. Oh, it's someone simple, from what I remember. What do you need? Uh, let's see. Does he have it? I just scanned that really fast. No, he does not. I'm trying to remember right now where you buy this for you guys. Because I'm... This is important. Um, Enchantment, piece of equipment that reduces them. But used fashion items improve quality. Yes. You know what? I think I'm pretty sure you can buy this from a... 
Oh, you know what? I think I know where you, you get this. But um, it's the camp. It comes from a certain guy. I'm trying to... It might be a skirmish camp. But anyway, let, let's pull... I'm, I'm wasting too much time on that. I'm sorry. Let me um, focus on this. So we're going to go back to the essence real quick here. So now that I clicked on the box, right? So anyway, you will need to get one of these. I'm pretty sure you get them from um, Flame of... Let me, let me... I'll find out real quick for us right now. Give me one second. I need to tell you. Okay, guys. So you can purchase this item from the following places. High Enchanter, Traveler's Quartermaster adventurer's quartermaster or a seasonal um figments of splendor's cosmetic npcs that's something entirely else and random um so that's where you get it but anyway um you can also see the quest ash of gorgoroth this item is not when used yep and it repeats you can use this item over and over you don't have you can just get one i do recommend going to a guy to seller after you buy it and locking it so you don't sell it because it's always a pain in the butt when that happens so anyway now that you know where to get that and where to do that yep 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 let's go back to essences because it's important with armor so for me i could do a physical mastery right so physical mastery will increase how hard my melees hit right if I was a tactical class, meaning a lore master, by the way, I have a video on every class, real, a real quick overview if you want to look at that. Um, but, and again, you can go to my the stats video in character one, I'll have more info on this. But the um, it matters what you are, right? So for me, I'm not going to do much tactical damage, magic damage. The only thing I have that's tactical is I believe like one of my roars. Like this one does light damage. Yeah, my war chant does light damage. That's the only one. Everything else says does main hand common, you know, damage. Or if your weapon changes your damage type, right? We're not doing weapons really. I, you, I talk about the legendary one, but you can put different things in your legendary to change the weapon type from just common. Or sometimes the weapon you get, even if it's not a legendary, will tell you it's a different type of damage. Like my bow, for example, if I hover it, it says it's actually Western Knees damage, right? Instead of just common damage, which means it does more to certain things, like creatures and stuff. Again, I'm going to probably go for Vitality, right? I could do Critical Rating to have a higher crit chance. That's good for both melee or tactical classes. De critical Defense, if I'm being full tank, this is very important for me. Sometimes that could be good for me. Finesse Rating means how much you don't miss right we'll go through those real quick right critical finesse we just talked about it. it helps you not get miss again i have a whole stat video on this if you guys want more details on that i don't want to go into that too long because it'll so here we go vitality here's plus a thousand seven hundred and sixty vitality i'm going to select that one all right so now that essence is here i'm going to right click it's going to show unbound equipment will permanently bind oh interesting so because my boots have two open slots, I can't actually... Here's a good thing to know for your armor, guys. This says minimum level 130, right? This one I just crafted because I crafted it from Minas Ithil level crafting. Or if you buy it, it's important because my cloak is a 115 cloak. Remember the minimum level? So it won't even let me have the option to put it on the cloak. But my boots have two slots too, and they're 130, so I will put it on there. Apply it. Unbound equipment will permanently buy into account, right? So it... It's warning you, if this equipment is in your inventory, it's going to bind the moment you put this essence into it, to your account. So that's also a good thing to know. A very good thing to know. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and all I'm going to do is right click on the armor. Or actually, I'm going to just click on the armor. Left click, apply, and say yes. And as you can see, my health just went up. About a thousand something health. And my vitality here went up. I'm at 50,000 now. I went up from 49 something. And now you can see I have an extra slot still there, but I have a little more vitality on my stats, right? That's how you do essences on your armor. But again, I think we've covered armor pretty darn well. And if you have any more specific questions about armor, please, please, please just let me know in the comments, guys, because like I will I will answer them for you. I will answer them either in the comments or an additional video if we need to, all right? So just you guys let me know. I hope this helps you guys on armor because armor can be very confusing in this game. There's a lot more learning things. I feel like I could talk probably for another 10 minutes on more things, but I think I gave you guys a good overview if you're brand new to the game. Again, there are lower level armor colors, by the way, if you're brand new to the game, it's gonna have colors that are more like this essence color, right? Oh, this is a good thing to know. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. If you drop it, drag and drop your selected item here to unslot or replace essences so that essence i just put on these boots if i drag and drop this here it'll actually give me the option to unslot this but it's telling me i'm gonna have to pay 
with mithril coins, which is kind of rough, right? So there's other ways that you can do it. Also, if you disenchant it with this one, if those boots, if you're getting rid of them, that'd probably be a better way to do it, and it'll get rid of it, and I believe the essences will fall out into your inventory. A little bit risky, because I haven't done it in a long time, and I can't tell you off the top of my head, but I believe that is the case. I've done it in the past. Pretty sure the essences get put back into your inventory. They don't get rid of your essences. So, anyway, there we go. Think you guys got good coverage. Again, your armor, if you're level 10 or 5, is going to have this just grayish background. And then later, it'll have a light, little bit better color, a little bit better color. But these colors are the colors you're going to need at this level. But basically, this level, then to purple, then to blue, till this goldish level. Most of your armor is going to be this blue when you're kind of decked out. And then occasionally, you'll have this at a maximum level, right? But again, this is a minimum. This is a 120 level item. So I don't have any level 130 with that particular one. I only have purples that are 130 and yeah that looks like about it i have right now so and then again that's why i'm wearing these lesser color ones because they're actually 130s some of them they're better i gotta go get my armor upgrade on this guy again so it was a good video for me too anyway i hope that helped you guys out uh leave a comment any other comments you have uh, i really like like to make sure i help people on what they're looking for i always hate it when i make a video and or i see a video and it's almost what i needed to know and then it wasn't quite what i needed to know so if that happens i apologize i really want to make this a uh, helpful video for all you guys so um leave a comment if you have a little bit more detail on something you're really confused on i will try to answer it immediately and then i can even make another video if you need to but don't forget to subscribe guys and like the video if you made it to the end i really appreciate it there's a another video on the how to guide up in the top there and then we'll also have another video here of my main playlist the Lotro Tale, where we do voiceovers, do fun things in Lotro. See you guys in the next one. Thanks for joining me. I'm your host and god, Zolid Iron Shield. Have a great day in Middle Earth, guys. See you in the next one.